How's it going guys, it's your man Raider, I'm here back for some more Legends content. Today we're going to be talking about this new God Challenge and why I think this event is pretty bad. Number one is the rewards. So the rewards for completing, going through all this disgustingly high difficult event that's so annoying and useless. I'll get into that later, but you know, you know how many CC you get? Guess how much? 500? 300? 200? Nope, you get a big fat 0-0 zero, zero CC. You know how many fights you have to go through in this match? Well, there's five waves. Basically, 15 matches in total, right? That's pretty much... And you're going to be facing... I'm on wave two. I, I'm, I'm pretty much... I, I decided, like, you know what? Well, this is not worth my time. I'm just going to stop it at wave two. I'm not even going to move forward. Uh, I could if I want to, but I'm not going to bother waste my time for little to no rewards. Uh, I mean, just take a look. They all have godly equipment. They're all like high stars. So if you're a player that's have most of his units three to six stars, good luck finishing this because you're never going to get it. Now let's go to the actual rewards. This is the rewards you get. Equipment limit 10 increase. Do do. Yeah, yeah. 200 slot removal. Oh, oh. 200 shaft on your uh, awakened equipment. All right, cool. PvP messages that might get banned later in the future, who knows? And then a bunch of just useless stuff. I mean, like, if you really want equipment expansion, I let me do it. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like I still have some of my uh, old ones here. Hold on. I swear. Hold on. Rare metal. It's got to be somewhere here. I know I can grab equipment. Here it is. Boom. <laughs> you know. For me, I'm not someone who farms awakening equipment or three copies of every new equipment, platinum equipment, whatnot, so I don't really need to expand my equipment with. I never really needed to. So I can do it 10 times a year for 3k. Look, I have like a million, over a million coins. So it's, complete, it's useless to me. The main reward of this event is completely useless. And then, yeah, okay, yeah, slot removals. I mean, this is a permanent. This is end time 2009, so they're going to add. 20, 2029 so they're gonna add new stages or new god challenges but hopefully they put in some cc 200 slot removals i mean that's pretty much useless because you know how awakening equipment goes in this game you're gonna be using like uh, uh maybe i'll say around like 500 total 500 to 600 total just to uh z plus awakening equipment whoop de do energy skip tickets equipment medals i mean you're gonna run out with the shaft of the slot removal, so yeah, and then Zenny and then a bunch of useless stuff. I mean, Zenny, they're good, but I mean, like, is it worth it to go through the grind to get these rewards? No, it's not. Now, let me tell you about the the battle itself. I'll deal with you first. It's basically like playing a real player in PvP. Yeah, this is not for you, right? They these bots play exactly like PvP players in rated. Uh, and you know what they do in Raided, right? You know, all these passive players, they float back, they all do all that nonsense, they wait for freaking decades for you to make a move. The bots do that same thing. And the bots have all of these equipments. Look at this. I mean, their equipments, <laughs> they're godly equipments. And they're not, the equipment itself is not really that. The equipments they're using are not bad, right? They're not like trash. Because these are from like real teams, so real players use them. So, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, this is not really a fun event. At least if you're going to put us through a grind, make the rewards very good. Like at least a thousand CC for completing it. You, you don't. If you complete all of the waves, I, I think there's five waves in total. There should be five waves in total. Uh, I think or three waves. I'm not too sure. Maybe three waves actually, because it's 15 battles in total makes sense. So, just at completing it all, you don't even get a thousand CC. It's so dumb how you don't get any CC. I'm just baffled. You know, I'm baffled. And as I already mentioned before, like the bots you're facing are just like real players. And if you have if someone has like three stars to six stars, don't even try to attempt this at all, because you'll just you'll just be wasting your time. Uh, yeah, so. Should you even bother to complete this? You don't even need to, because the rewards are trash. So why would you waste your time playing this PvP event where you're going to be fighting bots that play exactly like other people in PvP? 
when you can just play PvP, and then you actually get medals, which you can exchange for CC. I mean, I used it all up, but I mean, there's other rewards too, like multi Z power, Legends Limited Z power, you know, Arts Core, pretty useful. Nothing of that sort. So it's very terrible. I don't understand. They got to go back to the drawing board of this event. So honestly, I, I do not recommend you guys to even if you if you want to go ahead and try it, go ahead and try it. But you, there's no reason for you to complete it. I mean, you, you get, well, you get a mission where you get a title, but there's no title boost. It doesn't grant you any stats whatsoever. So it's pointless. Anyways, guys, that's my rant. I'm just such a waste of time, honestly. This event useless. I, I thought I, I thought you know a god challenge. When I first heard about it, okay, it's gonna be a difficult event. Good. So it's gonna be high rewarding, high difficulty, high reward. Nope. It's high difficulty, terrible reward. Anyway, guys, that's it for the, my rant in today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Also, P.S. I was planning to do a breakdown video of the kits for the new these two new units here uh, but i decided to like, just scrap that and then just tell you i'm just gonna tell you straight up right here right now do not summon for this banner at all these uh mega rising banners they're not good for your stone uh, for your chrono crystals they'll come back eventually on other banners so i do not recommend you guys wasting your time unless you're a huge uh fan of these particular units here and I don't think anybody is going to be super hyped wetting their pants for Garlic Jr. Except for maybe Goresh. He's the only one probably wetting his pants for Garlic Jr. I don't see anybody else in the community wetting their pants for these two units here. So I would just encourage you guys to skip it entirely. I mean, the banner itself. What, you have um, you have Baby, you have Piccolo, you have Goku. It's good. Good bench. Good, good characters. Baby 2 is good. But they'll come back on better banners in the future. So save your CC and save your sanity by not completing this event right here. Useless. Anyways guys, I'll see you again tomorrow, or see you next time when I upload. Take care.